So today I'm going to walk through this lesson plan on how to count algae cells using image J. It can get kind of confusing seeing all of these steps, so I think it's a lot better to see it actually in action. So what you're going to do first is you need images of your algae to get started. So you're going to use a hemocytometer as you would normally for hand counts. So the, our lesson on how to use a hemocytometer is on this website. Um, they're pretty easy to load and use, so you can look that up if you're not sure. After you're done loading your hemocytometer and using the microscope to focus on it, you're going to take a picture of your algae. So you're going to do this by making a circle with your hand like so. And you're just going to place it on your microscope lens. Put the lens of your camera up to it and flex and relax your fingers until your image comes into focus. You'll kind of be chasing a ball of light around on your microscope, but eventually it'll come into focus and that's when you can get your picture. So after you have all your images taken, you can upload these images onto your computer and then download ImageJ. So you're gonna find ImageJ on this website right here. And this is what it looks like. You'll just click download and download the software. So after you've downloaded this software, um, you'll pull up a program that looks like this. To open your image, you'll just go File, Open, and you can open your image. If you need to crop your image for any reason, I would recommend using this rectangular selection. Um, it's a set, it's a set um, shape. You can use a hand drawn crop but it's a lot quicker just to use um, the already set shape. So to start out we're going to convert this into an 8-bit image. So image type 8-bit or grayscale image. After we do this we're going to adjust the threshold. So we're going to get image adjust threshold. So I've already set it at a specific one but if your image comes out looking like this after you click adjust threshold you can just play with it until it's just about um, what you want for your image so apply and then after we adjust our threshold we are going to if you need to sometimes the cells can run together so image J has a process which you can go through to um, separate um, separate these cells. So if you go to process and then binary convert to mask and then you're going to click watershed. So what this watershed is going to do it's going to put a one pixel line between what image J thinks is two separate cells. So if you have some kind of smush together you can do that. And then once you have all of this stuff done we can um, count your particles and analyze your data. So we're going to click analyze particles and you can kind of play around with these. Um, you can click, you can make this whatever you want. Just noting that zero is going to be zero square pixels. So it's going to pick up every little thing. So I'm going to keep it on 10. Um, still picking up the smaller cells, but also not picking up these little specks that obviously aren't cells. And then circularity is just how circular the cells are. So if you want a perfect circle, that would be one. If you want a straight line, straight line is zero. And then you can show a bu you can show your counts in a bunch of different ways. I'm going to click outlines because then you're going to get the numbers on the cells. So I'm going to click OK. And then we'll pull up our data. So you can see the count is 35. Um, we have an average size. And then you can pair up all the different data to what you got. So that is how you count cells using ImageJ. You can save this data. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. And thank you for listening.